What's going on, guys? So, I think I need your help. I need your help understanding something, because no matter how much I think about it, I can't seem to figure out why the Call of Duty developers patch what they patch. And I don't particularly mean like, oh, I don't know why they patch the BAL, I don't know why they patch these certain weapons or certain perks and things like that. that that's not what I mean. What I mean is, why do they patch what they patch when they patch it? Like the first big patch that they let out for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, like the really, you know, game-changing type of patch, mainly involved uh, weapon balance, which I'm not saying didn't need to be done. It definitely does. We need to make sure that we have weapon balance in the game because not everybody needs to run around with the same fucking gun all the time. If that were the case, what's the point in putting other fucking weapons into the fucking game? It doesn't make any sense to me. Now, what bothers me about this is why are they, de the developers, why are they deciding to, oh, I'm going to patch this right here, this weapon. Before I patch, I don't know, glitches where you can walk inside of a fucking wall or the skill-based matchmaking. Why are those things not priorities? I think I have a theory that might be some, it's a working theory, uh, but I think it's a good start as far as what their mindset is. Now, being the kind of background that I am as far as career, I kind of understand how marketing and things work to a certain degree. I'm no expert. But I do understand that if you patch the things that people complain about the most, then it's going to keep your customer base quieter in the long run, I guess. Uh, or for, you know, for a short period of time, and it will keep them quieter about those things forever. All right, so let's uh, let's think about this. They patch the guns, they patch things, you know, the damage, the recoil, whatever it may be. But I don't understand why they're not patching the connection issues, why they're avoiding the skill-based matchmaking. All right, because we all know it's there. We all know that it's causing problems. It's causing very serious problems. It's causing players to stop playing. It's causing people to throw the game away, to get rid of it. But they continue to patch. Bullshit. I'm glad they got rid of those fucking in-the-wall glitches. I mean, those goddamn things were fucking annoying. Like, I, I quit playing the game for a few days when I knew the patch for that was coming just because I couldn't deal with it anymore. That drives me insane. Why were they there in the first place? Who's not checking this shit out? Three-year development cycle? Now, my reason for thinking why they t patch this stuff first is to go ahead and hush up their customers as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and shut these fuckers the fuck up. This will shut them up while we work on this other stuff, or maybe they'll just forget about it. And that is not the case. We do not forget these things. Yes, balancing things like the bow or, you know, fixing glitches will make us happy. But in the long run, there are still bigger problems. There are still bigger problems that involve more than just sticking a Band-Aid on it. Or using distract distracting methods such as go look over here while we do this thing. I mean, that's stuff you do to small children. And unfortunately, we're doing nothing but proving to these fucking developers that that's how we act. We bitch about the things that we do, but we really need to take a stand on the things that need to be patched. And they need to be patched first. Weapons need to be balanced, but not before things that actually contribute to how the game functions. Function first. That's all I'm saying. Let me know what you think down below. It's been a Zazel, guys. Take it easy.